What's up, everybody? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Yeah, check that one out, man. I got the E-Leaf iJust 3. Very reminiscent of the smock print stick. I mean, really reminds me of it. Maybe a little shorter, uh, but really nice, man. Things a cloud chucker. Check it out. This thing's nice. Really, really nice flavor. Let's go down low. Let's go over it all. And make sure you stay tuned till the end because I got a giveaway. E-Leaf sent me one directly, but Vape Sourcing sent me a purple one that I'm going to give away. See you down low. Welcome to the down low portion of this video with our E-Leaf iJust 3 kit. Check it out. Basically like an AIO kit. Some E-Leaf branding on the side there. Okay, this one's purple. I didn't know this one was purple. Man, if I would have known that, I wouldn't be giving this one away. But I did promise a giveaway, so we're going to give away the purple one, and I'm going to get stuck with the black one. But you'll see on the back of the box, we have an iJust, an iJust 3 battery. That's the tube part of the mod. An LO Duro atomizer. It comes with a 0.2 ohm coil head as well as a 0.15 ohm coil head. USB cable, two user manuals, and some spare parts. Okay, let's open this thing up, get down and dirty with the iJust 3 and see what it actually looks like. Look at that purpley goodness. I mean, wow. That thing is just stunning. It really is. I'm, I'm impressed by it. It looks really nice. They did a good job on it, man. I mean, look at that purple. I mean, just really, really nice. You'll notice... We have a USB port here with an LED light here, okay? Very, very simple mod. Five clicks on, five clicks off of the fire button. Fire button has a hexagon type shape to it. But I want to show you something. I mean, look at this. They almost made the bottom look like a faux uh, mechanical hybrid type of button. I mean, they did a nice job on it. It looks really, really good. The tube part is gorgeous, okay? Now... In your package, you get a spare glass, but a bubble glass comes pre-installed. The spare is a straight glass, okay? Here is the Elo Duro tank with the bubble glass installed. This is the drip tip right here. It's not really a goon-style drip tip because there's no O-ring in there. It's more like a smock-style drip tip, okay? But they did a nice job matching the drip tip and the tank of the mod to the body. There is your top fill port. There's your slider indicator. Has a little flap right here that does a good job of keeping the juice at bay when you're filling it. Really, really nice job on this tank. Very, very happy with it. Knurling on the airflow here, okay? Um, airflow adjustment. AFC is extremely smooth. The reason they call it the three is because there's three airflow slots on the bottom that are fully adjustable with some nice knurling. In order to take the tank apart, you simply unscrew it like you would a regular sub-ohm tank. Okay, let's put this to the side for a second. Here is the coil that comes pre-installed. This is the HWM 0.15 ohm coil, and they say it's good from... I can't even read that. I'm getting too old. Let me see if we can zoom in there and I can read it on camera. Hold on. Give it a second to focus. There we go. HWM coil, 0.15 ohm, good from 50 to 100 watts. Comes out like a regular sub-ohm coil would. You just unscrew it, right? We'll put the base on the side for a second. One thing I really don't like about this coil is they put like metal pieces by the wicking slots here. And the reason I don't like it is because when you... You know, you know when you get that tight type of coil and you want to put like a safety pin through it and loosen things up? You can't do it on this coil. It is a mesh coil. There is mesh inside of there with cotton around it. All right. Mesh is the big thing now, and rightfully so. You do get superior flavor out of mesh. Okay. And this coil is no different. All right. Let's put that all to the... Oh, well, let's go over the base real quick. Base has a nice big purple O-ring right there. Threading on it is nice and smooth. Nice knurling over here, okay? On the bottom of the mod, we do have a gold-plated 510 connection with some E-Leaf branding and some Elo Duro uh, 
branding as well, okay? Here is the bubble glass, okay? Nice big bubble glass. They did a nice job with it. I mean, you can see the chimney is very short, so you really don't have a lot to go from the coil to the chimney. Not a lot of travel there. Um, that's always conducive to flavor. We always like that. Let's put this thing back together now. And we'll show you the rest of the contents of the box, okay? I'm going to put the tank on the side for now. Pull out the insert. There's also cardboard underneath the insert. Let's zoom out a little bit, okay? Over here, we have the spare coil, all right? Same type of coil as the other one, just a little more mellow. This is the HWN 0.2 ohm coil. It's good from 40 to 90 watts, but basically the same type of setup. We got mesh inside there, okay? Plenty of cotton, and it's still got those metal walls over there in front of your wicking ports, okay? Both coils are very flavorful. You also get a spare parts pack, right, with gaskets, spare O-rings, typical stuff. Here is your E-Leaf LO Duro Quick Start Guide. We'll file that to the side. This is your user manual for the iJust 3. Okay, we'll put all that to the side. Let's put this mod back together, give you what it give you a look of it in its full glory. Okay. Drip tip goes in like so. We'll zoom out. I mean, look at this thing. It's just beautiful. It really is. I love the purple, man. If I would have known this was purple when I got this, I would not be giving this one away. I'm actually kind of jealous, but I am a man of my word, and I'm going to keep the black one and give away the purple one, okay? So that's it on the E-Leaf I Just 3. Uh, let's go back on top. We're going to go over cons, pros, vape it a little bit, talk about it a little bit, and then we're out of here as usual. See you back on top. All right, everyone, welcome back on top. You just saw the E-Leaf iJust 3. Let's talk about it a little bit. Maximum output, 80 watts, 3,000 ma internal battery, okay? 25 millimeter tank on top with a bubble glass. Tons, I mean tons of airflow. This thing has got gobs of it. I mean, this is a really, really airy tank, okay? We got an LED battery indicator. Right below the USB port, changes different colors depending on what your battery is doing. All right. It's a nice one, man. It's a top fill tank. Uh, I got to say, I've had this thing about a month now, and I've been enjoying it. Right before I did this video, Vape Sourcing sent me one, and I don't need two. So we're going to give the purple one away a little later on in this video. Let's get into the official cons and pros, okay? First con is going to be... That top fill marker on the tank that I showed you down low, it's very, very tough to see. I mean, it's just they should have made it clearer because I want to be able to see where I have to push the top part of the tank to slide it open. They did a bad job on that. E-Leaf, you got to make those markings clearer, okay? And the only other con I really have is, you know, it's a bubble glass and it's very thin, so it's easy to knock over. I think they should have included some sort of vape band for it because these, man, with these bubble glasses, I love them because you get a lot more capacity without lengthening the chimney, so you don't have to worry about losing flavor. So I love bubble glasses, but when you live by the bubble glass, you die by the bubble glass. These things do break easy when you, you know, tip a mod over. So I would have liked to see some type of vape band included. But otherwise, you know, it's an easy fix. Just go out and get yourself a vape band. They're they're available everywhere. Most vapors have them anyway, but I would have liked to have seen one in the kit. All right, that's it as far as the cons go. There's not much that you can't like about a setup like this. It's really, I mean, you got everything. All you got to do is add juice, and you're getting great flavor and great cloud production. So let's get into the pros, okay? First pro is going to be for you airflow hogs out there, this is one airy tank. This LO Duro tank is as airy as it gets. It's like breathing air. There's like no restriction to it, okay? Other pros going to be the flavor on this tank is fantastic. Both coils are great. The mesh coil is great. That honeycomb coil, it, it's a mesh coil, but they call it a honeycomb coil. Um, that's great also. 
Uh, the flavor is just phenomenal on this tank. You're going to love the flavor, okay? Other pro I'm going to give it is pass-through technology. You can vape while charging. I don't particularly recommend that, but if you're in a pinch, you can do it, okay? That's going to be a pro. Other pro is it's small. You can put this inside a jacket pocket. You can shut it off, put it in your jeans pocket, okay? It's small, pocketable. And, you know, for a little guy like this, this thing can chuck the clouds, and it's got great flavor. So that's going to be a pro. Uh, I love the colors that it's available in. This is the black one. You saw the purple one down low. It also comes in silver, red, blue, and rainbow, and they all look great. They really do. So that's it on the pros. I mean, this thing's a, this is a nice little kit, man. For, for 40 bucks, a little over 40 bucks, you get a tank, a battery, a mod, I mean, you know, I think it's a really, really good value. So we're going to give it a pro on price point, too, because I think, you know, for the when you consider the flavor, the clouds, and the performance you get off this thing for, for that at that price point, it's a really good buy. Make sure you check it out in our links down below. We're going to have where you can go buy it, okay? We're also going to give one away, so don't go away. We're going to give the purple one away that we showed down low, okay? In order to enter the giveaway, you have to be in the continental United States over 21 and be able to prove it okay do us a favor comment we want you to share this video we're trying to build the channel comment where you shared it and what you thought of the video you also must be a subscriber we're gonna let it run for a little while I'll pick a winner through the uh, randomizer and when I get the winner I will respond to your comment I will reply to it and tell you where to contact me so we can go over everything that you need to do in order to get this. Shipping's going to be on you, 8 bucks in the continental USA. That's all I got to say about the iJust 3 by E-Leaf. This one's deuces jack approved, man. Go out and get yourself one, especially if you're looking for a beater or a banger setup. This is it, man. Keep this in a bag. It's a nice little setup. Okay? Guys, keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.